So let's go ahead and get the power supply unit itself mounted down in. So a couple of things. I added a, some of this cell stick on felt pad here and here. And what that kind of does is it presses up against the case as, as the mounting screws are put in. And it just holds everything nice and solidly in place. Uh, it doesn't allow a lot of board flex. It makes it you know, much more solid feeling in place. And I took the template. I don't know how well you can see this at all. But what this is is a plastic shield that is meant to keep the pins underneath the board here from potentially shorting. Uh, and it's cut so that it doesn't really intrude on the grid here for airflow except in a little spot here where this plus 5 volt pin comes through. And honestly with this felt on the back it probably doesn't need that. But I'm going to use it anyhow just as an extra safeguard. So really it's just sit the unit in place, grab four screws, and a screwdriver. Once I spot it, I move the tools around here to make some room and just get these started. And this really is, at this point, a, just a drop-in replacement. It doesn't require any modifications to the Model 4. Take it apart, undo four screws, drop this in place, put in the four screws, tighten it all up, and you're done. Of course, you've got to put the system back together. But That's really in there nice and solid, which is excellent. Uh, we've left at least some gap here to help with airflow. Uh, I believe the fan in the system blows air into the box here and then it vents out through here. So it, uh, it just you know allows for a little easier flow. I didn't need to, in the end, drill these extra holes for mounting things. Uh, got a nice gap underneath. Frame ground is brought to the supplies themselves, of course, through the metal frame. Uh, these four uh, screw, screws here hook that up all the way through. So really the last little piece to poke at here, and we'll do that in this segment before we get it mounted up in the Model 4. Let's, let's just ohm things out one more time. Oh, we haven't done it yet on, on this layout. Make sure they make sense. So I'm in continuity mode. I should have frame ground, frame ground. Obviously, it's going to be in those places as well. I should have the incoming line to line. And that's marked L there, and that's marked L here. I should have the incoming neutral to here and to here. It should be going no place else, just like this should be going no place else. I should have system common to these three pins here, that is the power supply common to the system and to down here. This common up here should be tied to the same points. I should have plus five to this row of pins right here. Two, three, four, yep, those three there. I should have plus 12 to one, two, three. I should have minus 12 to just the one here. I should have the video plus 12 to right here. I should have this plus 12 to the fan. Is the silk screen actually backwards there? It looks like the silk screen is actually backwards. I'll have to verify that. I've either got a silk screen issue. Sucks to get this far. Okay. Let's verify if that's silk screen or we'll come back to the original supply. I really thought I had that done correctly, and apparently there's a good chance I didn't. So that's common in the system. Common in the system. Uh, that should be plus 12, shouldn't it? Right. Common. That should be plus 12. 
Oh, the fan. Huh, the fan is on the monitor supply. That's interesting. Silk screen is wrong here. I've got those two swapped in the silk screen. Dog on it. There's always something. But that's why we do this and uncover stuff. But uh, that gets me a good assembled, I think, unit here. Electrically, it looks okay. We can see, of course, that the fuse is working. So really, I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, I'm going to have to make one more tweak to get the silkscreen correct. You know, that's if I decide to go any further forward with this. Uh, anyhow, we'll come back and mount this in the Model 4P and see what happens. So we're, of course, back at the Model 4P. I want to get the wiring harness and everything hooked up here. Let me dig out a single screw at this point. So I can just mount this in, in the test position. I put a little spacer there. You can take this unit, flipped open like this, put in a screw. And that mounts the power supply in essentially a test position. We can cable things up. I'm going to start with the incoming AC. I'm going to plug in a line cord here. I believe the power switch is currently off. I'm going to do some quick electrical checks. We've done some of these in previous videos, but I prefer to be thorough. I want to look from the round prong here is the earth ground itself. So we're getting three ohms. Something isn't making a great connection here, but it is connected. Yeah, it's just a lousy connection. It should be coming up to here and to here. So that's correct. Let's see, this side over here is the neutral, which should be coming to neutral here. It should currently be open. This side is line. It should currently be open. Let's turn on the power switch. And the line should now be coming through. And it is. It should be coming through and the neutral should be coming through. And it is, and it is. So that all looks really good. Let me turn the power switch back off. Let's reset. So we plug ourselves in here. So we've got AC power being passed into the system. Hopefully the meter is in shot. I don't think it is. Let me see if I can get the meter in shot where you can see it. go to volts. I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on. It should be absolutely fine here. Nothing's going to happen because I don't have anything connected. Dough. So let's hook up system power. If I can get it to slide on there. We've then got the monitor power. And we've then got the fan. There we go. All three are connected. It should now actually power up. We, you may have seen it, the heater came up really bright and then dimmed down. So we've got power to the monitor. The system fan is running. So let's get on common over here and look at some of the power supply rails. That's plus 5, 5.06. This is plus 12, 11.88, that's fine. This is minus 12. Once 12.3, it's fine. 
and we've got I'll have to do this from over here so my hands aren't in the way we should have plus 12 here for the meter or for the monitor everything there looks good I can see uh, reflection up underneath I've got a nice look it looks like a full screen raster here let me hit reset There it is. I can hear the floppy motors come up and spin, so it's trying to boot. So I'd say we're good at this point. So let's go ahead and power down. I'm going to remove the AC power, just to make everything as safe as possible. I'm going to back out that one screw we put in here if I can get to it. It appears I can't. Check that out one more time and it's on correctly. You just take the whole power supply assembly, fold it over, kind of position it up, and get the screws in. This panel's been mounted and removed so many times, those screw holes are starting to uh, kind of become worn out. As I eventually put this back together, I'll need to loosen all these screws and get all of the metal panels in place. And then tighten everything back up. For now, we're just going to cinch, the, cinch these down. Good friggin' enough for now. And, and there we are. Uh, I'll get some photos here of the power supply unit mounted inside of the case. You can see what it looks like. We'll end the video here. Those will be coming up next. And I'll see you in a future video.